Hi everybody, it's Richard Watts. Welcome Impact 20 to, uh, to this wonderful conference. They asked me to find something creative and uh, I couldn't think of anything more appropriate during COVID than what some of us feel like almost every day. So let me tell you, first of all, I'm an author, I wrote Entitlement and the Table of Fortune. Um, the interesting thing that's happening right now is the adversity with regard to families and sometimes the need we're talking this conference is about rejuvenating and rethinking and reinventing ourselves. And that's happening in families all over. Uh, what we're really looking at is the entitlement issue for me is interesting because the definition for entitlement for me is a child who believes they should have anything that they want while believing they don't have to put an effort in to get it. And the causes of that are two different things. One, giving the child too much, and two, taking away their struggle. Now you all do really well at giving children too much. We do that quite well. I don't have any problem in causing the problem there. The other one that's interesting during this time is the taking away of struggle. It's interesting that we so oftentimes want to build a, a cage around our kids to keep them incubated and away from, insulated from all of the problems of the outside world. We, during this COVID time, everybody's trying hard to keep them from seeing the reality. The fact of the matter is, is that the reality of the COVID and the reality of some of these changes are the very struggles and the impacts that would help and recognize your, help your kids recognize what a wonderful opportunity this is for them to learn their own ways. To struggle against some of the things that are happening. You can't be everything everywhere and the kids have got to learn to do some of this stuff themselves. And so really letting them, letting the forces of nature, letting these things happen to them, affirming them when they're having trouble and working out their own remedies, letting them alone and letting them play, Sometimes that's the best answer for you and for your kids. It'll give them the, end, the opportunity to reinvent the family. There's a story about Michelangelo that occurred in, back in his day where he was chiseling on this great big block of marble. And the marble was inside. There was the, the statue of David not yet released. And he asked Michelangelo, what, how do you know what's inside? How do you know what to build? And he says, well, David, the statue, the very famous statue is there. All I have to do is with a hammer and chisel break away the pieces that don't matter, the pieces that don't belong. And that's what Michelangelo did. He took away all the pieces that didn't belong with a hammer and chisel. Likewise, it takes the forces of life and it takes the forces of nature in order to chip away and to create struggles for your children so that they can become resilient so that they can find their own way. They can find difficulties and struggles and remedies for getting through the struggle. It's the only way that they become the people that you want them to be. So during this COVID time and in the future, maybe it's time to reinvent yourself as a family, to take away being just a, a, a codependent parent that wants to give their kid everything and maybe begin to become a real parent, a real parent that says things once in a while to kids they don't like to hear and says no to their kids once in a while don't, and don't, doesn't allow them to have everything they want to have. A lot of times that creates the inspiration and the, the effort for a child to be able to rise above and to become the people they are. Um, I think that from here on out, everybody ought to recognize that, that we want to put our kids in a gilded cage. That's what we hope to do is we put our kids in a gilded cage. We want to insulate them from everything and everywhere that they can get into trouble. And what happens, really, is that that gilded cage for them sometimes becomes a prison. And we don't want that for our kids, do we? So thank you. God bless. And you get a chance. Read the rest. See you.